yeah! What's up guys? We're out here on the brand new 2019 Cannondale Habit. Man, this is all new bike this year and uh, Cannondale really changed up a lot of stuff. Um, I'm on the top tier Habit 1 uh, build, Carbon. And uh, go to their website and check out all the stuff, but I mean, it's as nice as it gets. XTR brakes and drivetrain, the, the new uh, 12 speed XTR Shimano stuff, and uh, super nice bike. It came in at about 28 pounds. I've um, just been climbing on it this morning so far, and uh, you know, climbing, I've climbed with it in the open position on the shock, and then in the middle position, which would be like the trail position. And that's where I preferred it on this one. It just, you know, makes it scoot along just a little bit better. Not a whole lot of real technical climbing, but just pedaling along just feels nice. Um, Pick this bike up from uh, the guys over at Salt Cycles. They are Utah's newest Cannondale dealer. They've got tons of inventory in stock for Cannondale, but they've also got other brands as well. Yeti, Pivot, Ivis. And uh, anyway, they're in Sandy, Utah. Go check them out if you're local. Uh, if you're not local, then uh, just hop on the website and check it out. It's just the do-everything kind of bike. And so I'm excited to see how this thing descends today. It climbs fine. Um, it reminds me kind of of my, uh, for those of you who follow the channel, I used to ride a Rocky Mountain Instinct. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of that. Just the way it fits and the way it pedals along the trail. <clears throat> anyway, if you're new to the channel, uh, go check out some of my other videos with similar bikes in this category. Um, subscribe and stick around. I'm currently riding a, an Ibis uh, Ripley and a uh, real similar bike to this. And before that, I owned the uh, Pivot Trail 429, which again, same category, kind of that mid-travel 120, 130 mil travel uh, 29er. Hey, let's get to the top. I got Sam here with me. Thanks for coming along, Sam. Sam rides all the bikes, so it's always fun to have him around. All right, Jacob's Ladder on the Cannondale Habit. Hey, that feels pretty good. Oh man, that horse link suspension just feels super active already. There we go. Now, Cannondale has you setting this bike up at 22 uh, millimeters of travel, or 22% uh, travel. And uh, that's a little less than most bikes I do. And it climbed real well. Descending feels good. Still has some decent pop to it. There we go. Man, these new XTR Trail 4 piston brakes feel amazing. All right, so we just got off the uh, kind of higher speed, more technical type trail. Now we're on just a flow trail. Uh, this 130 Habit, uh, 130 mil travel Habit did pretty good up there. The front uh, felt like it was getting a little, a little bucked around. I had to mess with the, nice sound. I had to mess with the rebound a little bit and I think we got it kind of more where I want it. And uh, I'll tell you real quick, these 130 millimeter travel, 120 millimeter travel, 29ers are so fun on these fast flowy trails just really efficient fun it's a great place to test kind of what kind of life this bike's got in it nice so you can still pop off stuff with this bike it's not quite as lively as maybe some of the other bikes in the category that I've been riding um, it has a more planted feel, I would say. I wonder what this bike would ride with a uh, 44 mil offset fork. wonder what that would be like. I'll tell you, the back end, uh, the rear end of this Cannondale feels really planted and just smooth. I really like it. it. Reminds me a lot of my Rocky Mountain instinct. Okay, I've had to mess with this fork 
three different times now and I think I've got it right where we need it where it's fast enough to feel playful but still has good enough grip it's like every time nice Sam every time I um, kind of get it to where it'd be playful I'd lose all the grip in the front so I think I got it in a good spot now don't know why it took so long to set this bike up but uh wonder what this bike in fact I've been thinking this all along like wonder what this bike would feel like with a longer fork like 150 whoa just lost traction again again a little bit hey guys I just got back from my ride on the new 2019 Cannondale Habit and it was pretty sweet you know uh this is the type of bike that can go out and do anything uh in fact to be honest with you after riding it today the rear it's only 130 millimeters of travel in the rear with a dpx2 rear shock but it felt awesome as good as any bike i've ridden in the last couple months you know it's, it's just felt really planted but still had some decent pop to it the reach and everything i was on a size medium i'm five foot eight it felt good i i had a hard time with the length of the the seat post uh, i couldn't get the dropper in far enough so i was like maxed out on my pedal strokes um so i didn't love that i uh, you know i might have to ride a 125 dropper if i ended up buying this bike how the bike actually felt on the trail um it didn't feel as quick or fast side to side as like the pivot trail 429 or the nice, ibis yeah. ripley um it actually felt overall more like the specialized stump jumper oddly enough um that's 150 millimeter travel front and rear but that's kind of the bike it reminded me the most of. It also reminded me a little bit of my old Rocky Mountain Instinct, but not as light and lively feeling. It had a more planted feeling to it for sure. And um, I think if I was interested in buying this bike, I would probably over fork it and put a bigger fork on it and make this like a real go out and handle some heavy business trail bike. That would be pretty rad, I think. Um, it didn't feel as like poppy and light on its feet as some of the other bikes in the the category um you know it, for those of you who don't know i currently own and ride an ibis ripley which is kind of similar to this bike but it feels much more nimble and quick um this feels uh i'm trying to think of bikes that it feels like so if you guys have uh, demoed them you could have an idea of what it's like but kind of more like a santa cruz high tower or or even the uh, specialized stump jumper is what it reminds me of most um it still climbed awesome. I thought it climbed well. I climbed with it in the trail position, so just uh, one click uh, closed, uh, one click away from open, I guess is how you say that. And uh, it, I thought it climbed really well. Um, I'd probably spec with some different tires because these tires are heavy, but uh, you know, you could tell Cannondale wanted to make a good trail bike, something I could go out and hammer. In the past, they've always done kind of some proprietary type shocks or forks with their lefty and um, you know, this is just standard Fox shocks suspension and uh, it, it totally felt like it meant business. Like it wanted to go out and do trail work, you know? So um, for an all arounder, it's definitely one to go look at. Uh, Salt Cycles in Sandy, Utah is an, uh, the newest Cannondale dealer in Utah and they've got a ton of inventory of Cannondales right now. And one thing I wanted to mention also is the price point. This is a bike that starts at like $2,100. So they have an aluminum frame for $2,100 and it goes all the way up in aluminum up to about $5,000 and then their carbon frame started at about $4,000. So pretty decent price points for what you get. Again, I love the horse link suspension platform. I think it climbs well. It's super active when descending. Um, you can still pump through all the turns. It just is not quite as responsive or quick as uh like the ibis ripley or the the pivot trail 429 so anyway i hope this was a helpful review i had a fun time riding the bike it took me a minute to get the front end sorted out um again i'd like to i'd like to ride it with a with a beefier fork on it i think that would be pretty pretty rad so uh thanks for watching the channel i uh, hope it's helpful to you subscribe and like it and uh we'll see you on the next one uh yeah canville has a trail bike that's pretty cool Oh wait, let me change the angle because now you're jumping. I want it a little bit higher. Nice. Nice. Oh, you gotta grab brake for that one. Yeah. 
it feels like it jumps good. That rear end of this bike is the most, the most impressive part of the bike, for sure. The rear end feels really, really awesome. I think it would be awesome with like a, a Lyric or a Fox 36 up front somehow. It just feels deep and good. It ramps up really smooth. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love the rear end of this bike. For some reason the front end doesn't have as much traction for me. I've been kind of messing around with that fork all day. Nice, Sam. catch berm here oh yeah that's sweet i love that catch berm so good yeah oh this is where sam's gonna drop me he's fast dude heck yeah that was fun well the bike got better and better throughout the day for sure uh, the rear end felt awesome, dude. Yeah.